ultimate day here in Croatia. We've got our sustainability ambassadors just finishing their meeting behind. It's becoming more and more proactive, more interactive, more ideas coming from the fleet. And this is such a beautiful area, you'd think it was unspoiled, but you learn otherwise. In 2050, there's going to be more uh, plastic in the ocean than there, there is fish. And, you know, for me, that was a, a really telling fact because my children are only going to be 34 when that uh, rolls around. And, you know, this is our playground and, and I think that's something that we really need to protect. So it's time for uh, talking's over and now it's time for action. We had a lovely enthusiastic group of kids uh, with us this morning doing a beach clean up as ever. The beach looked clean and beautiful when we arrived but there's a lot of rubbish uh, on the beach and it's all been picked up. And uh, this time, initiative this season is we're looking below the surface, maybe out of sight and out of mind but there's a lot of rubbish below the surface. On the bottom of, uh, of our playground is all this rubbish that, um, you know, I think it's fantastic that the guys are getting down there and, and pulling out. From the serious business of protecting our playground out onto the Grand Prix playground and the racetrack. The breeze rarely getting above double figures, it was uh, fairly light through most of the day. Race 6 gets away in 6 to 7 knots of breeze. Quantum start off the middle of the course, get up the early left and once again show the way out to the right. It's really all about the ley line into the windward mark and Quantum Racing nail that perfectly. Sled just a little bit slim, a little bit slender and have to shoot round the top mark and get round in second and Luna Rossa round in third. So the order at the finish line, it's Quantum Racing, Sled second, Platoon third and Luna Rossa getting their fourth, their best result of the regatta so far. It's great for Mr Okura to get a nice consistent day for us, um, something we lacked a little bit of last year, but uh, so it was a really nice day. Well, race seven gets away after the racetrack is moved very slightly. Prevetsa recognises that there's more breeze on the left side this time. They get away from the pin end of the line and Phoenix go well in the early part of the beat. And Quantum Racing super solid, round in second behind Prevetsa. Sled are round in third, Phoenix in fourth, but uh, Prevetsa hold out all the way round the course. Platoon go right early, get stuck in the back of the uh, fleet and uh, ping-ponged around and it's a real problem for them today. But at the finish line, Prevetsa put their first win on the scoreboard of this regatta. Sled gets second, so two seconds for the day. And uh, Quantum Racing one and three for the day, coming through the line in third and lead the regatta. But we're gonna, we're gonna celebrate a little bit tonight. That was definitely a good one. You know, it's tough uh, getting these boats up to speed when they're late being launched, and for the crew, it's a little frustrating having things holding us back. And so it's been a little frustrating at times, but uh, the boat is great. Once we uh, keep it on, on track without any breakdowns, she's doing really well. That's, yeah, it's just obviously very satisfying to to be in a good spot you know, with a day to go. So we just have to keep working hard and executing the way we are to uh, keep punching out good results. So in first place, Quantum Racing on 22 points. Second now, Sled on 31 points. And in third, Platoon on 33. Another beautiful, if slightly subtle days racing here in Croatia. Beautiful sunshine, nice breezes and two good races. So that's the penultimate day of racing. The finale sees Quantum Racing with a nice uh, lead. Could be their first regatta win in a year. Join us again.